Hi, welcome to Brain Masters videos. Okay, today I'll be doing on Cornelius geometry for area of rectilinear figures. What does it mean? That actually means that I'm going to find area of um, can be a triangle, a rectangle, or five-sided figure or polygon. Okay, with the help of just having the coordinates of their points. So this one is a much easier way, and I use this method called shoelace method. Okay, so here's the question. Find the area of the triangle with vertices A, negative 4, 2, B, 1, 5, and C, 0, negative 1. So how will it actually look like? So I have a figure that is a triangle with the point A, B, and C given to me. So by using this um, shoelace method, it actually can help me to find the area of a triangle without me using my half A, B, sin C, or my half times base times height. Because on the graph drawn or with the points given, it will be in a very irregular shape in a sense that you, do, you will not be able to have a proper height or a base to find. Okay, so this method will be actually much more easier if it's based on a cornish geometry question. Okay, so how the formula works? So I'll have a half and then a modulus. Okay, I'll start with A. So I have negative 4. K and 2, so all the x will be on top and all the y will be at the bottom. So a followed by b, 1, 5, 0, negative 1, and I'll end off with where I start from. Okay, so I close the modulus. So what I'll do is I will have to multiply this way first. Okay, so it will be half. Okay, I'll have negative 4 times 5. You give me negative 20. Okay, add them up with a negative 1 and then a 0. Okay, then I'll plus them to the other way around. So going backwards. Okay, so this will give me 4 plus 0 plus 2. So the 0 I'll omit. Okay, so I'll work on the values inside the modular sign first. That will give me negative 21 plus 6. So therefore, this will give me my answer of negative 1. Okay, half modulus. Okay, negative 15. Then because of the modulus, this will become a positive value. Okay, which will give me 15. And therefore, I have an area of 7.5 units square. Okay, so this is how I will have my answer obtained from the shoelace method. Okay, so here you are on how it's uh, how it's done. So if you like our teaching videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or you may also go on to our blog for more related questions to practice on. Okay, thank you.